Okay, welcome back to the Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016 here in Calgary, Canada. I'm Panda and this... This would be Bob Noxious. <laughs> he would. Well, hey, we're on track one now. Um, we're going to be seeing Team Mexico taking on Team Spain. Mexico's third game today. Yep. And Spain's second. Um, their first game was at two o'clock this afternoon, so they've had a good rest this morning. And that we're... They're getting into the groove a little bit now, I think. Yeah, both of these, of course, both these teams brand new to the to the men's the roller the men's roller derby world cup, which probably means they're also brand new to tournament play, and uh, we'll see what the effects are. Absolutely. So Spain earlier on. Let's talk about that game on track two. They played Germany. It was a pretty close game. Uh, Germany taking the win, uh, eighty three points to sixty five. And then earlier on, the Mexico games that we've seen so far have been have been really, really well played. Um, we uh, and the, and as as you and I both know, when you say really, really well played, that's understatement. <laughs> as listen to these scores. So Wales, Mexico, uh, game three. Wales took the lead on 77 to 45, so it was only a 32 point differential. And then Canada, Team Canada, taking the win for uh, 54 versus 28. Can so, you, yeah, exactly. First team in the tournament loses to Team Canada by just 28 points. Just incredible. 26-point differential there, the lowest that we had seen uh, uh, until we, we call We call that announcer math. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I used the calculator. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the, the Spain game uh, with Team Germany was the 18-point differential there. So that was the lowest point differential that we've seen yes. at this point today. Any thoughts going into the next game? Yeah, I, I think that just based on the difficulty of the teams that uh, and the pool that uh, Mexico is playing in, uh, I, I would it, to me they have to be the favorite um, to take on uh, Wales, which we know is a contender, to take on Canada, which we know is a contender, uh, to play them within a few jams with the points is pretty spectacular. Uh, we've seen the defense that they put up. Their defense is pretty unbelievable. Um, Spain, a nice job, but up against an 11 seed at the same time. So uh, that's the way I look at it. I think both of these teams wanted to come into the competition and make an impression. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah, and they have. Uh, Absolutely. You know? Um, so I think we are about ready to go on the track. I can hear the teams getting their haggles up, ready to go. <laughs> um, so we're going to be throwing over to our trackside feed announcers. Thanks very much for tuning in. Yep. And we are back. Welcome to the Nerd Roller Skates track here at the Ro Men's Roller Derby World Cup. As we get set for our next bout, my name is Piggy Fatness, and I am joined here by Devils Reject. Reject, it's been a fun, long day of derby so far, and uh, what a great time it's been. Absolutely, it has. I can't believe it's already 5 o'clock in the evening here in Calgary. You know, the sun doesn't set in Calgary until about midnight, <laughs> so we like still have day. plenty of daylight to play some roller derby. Absolutely. Well, that's going to say, that means that what we're about to see is Spain taking on Mexico. So this should be a fun bout to watch as both these teams Looking for a win here uh, today on this first day of group play. Yeah, so far just looking at our rosters, very big roster difference. Team Mexico has a ton of players on here. Team Spain looking like they're working with about nine skaters out there on the track. So it'll be interesting to see if that comes into play in this game this afternoon. Indeed, we'll see what the conditioning looks like as we get set for this bout. 30-minute bout, group play, day one. One timeout per team, and you cannot take a timeout within the last two minutes. So again, working our way through this group play over the first couple of days to determine seedings for breakout rounds uh, over the next couple of days. Fun times here in Calgary. And we're just getting started, Piggy Yes, Banks. absolutely. <laughs> it is day one. It feels like we've been here for days already. <laughs> well, I've been commenting on how these 30-minute bouts actually feel like full bouts because of the intensity with which these teams are playing. Yes, absolutely. And it's interesting, too, to see if some of these games had a second half, who the winner, like who would prevail? Because some of these teams are like, man, if they just had like five more minutes, sure. they could have brought it back. But so we'll look to see what is in store between Mexico and Spain. Team Mexico already played earlier today. Did did Spain pick up a game already? I believe they did. We'll have to take a look at our notes just to be sure. 
while we do that, I want to take a moment to welcome our fans from Mexico and Spain. A todos que están con nosotros de México y de España. Bienvenidos a este partido de, de entre uh, estos, estos equipos. Y aquí empezamos el primer jam. All right, and first jam, here we go. We have Spain taking lead jammer position on the track. That is Pere Bayari, number 56, in the red. Spain skating in red, Mexico skating in the green for us today. Jamming for Team Mexico, we have Alex Storm on the track, able to make it through on his initial pass. Alex Storm has been an impressive jammer, not just here, but in play for Mexico over the last several months. So he's looking to make an impact. Headed to the penalty box just before the whistle is the Spaniard, number 30 for Team Spain, the team captain as well. Three points on the board after the first jam. Spain strikes first. 30 minutes of play to a finish. Next on the jam line for Team Mexico is Soy Tu Perro taking on Senor Calavera for Spain. Now looking to make an impact, but it's Mexico on first. Soy Tu Perro picking up lead jammer for his team. And we have our first roller derby athletics power jam for Mexico as a high block penalty was called on Senor Calavera. Team Spain with this short five penalty allowance is gonna have to be really careful because they do not have the skaters to spare. That is absolutely true. So we do better making a pass for five points and a back block penalty is called that will send a Spain blocker Acha to the penalty box. So as you said, Reject, we've gotta keep an eye on that because a lot can happen in 30 minutes. 10 to three, Mexico in the lead, 27 minutes, 54 seconds. Carla Fau now taking the line for Team Mexico. He will be on power start. Yes, this will be a power start indeed. Carrying over from the last jam. Power start Mexico. Spain attempting that three wall, but it gets broken up by the blockers from Mexico. Carla Fau able to pick up Lee Gemma. Team Mexico really seeming to be the, the surprising team here coming out of the woodwork. A lot of great skaters. Carl LaFowle here, I believe, skates normally with New York Shock Exchange. So no stranger to the track as he picks up another five-point pass for Team Mexico. You talk about them being a surprising team. They hung in well with Canada earlier today, and that's, quite a bit of, that's been the talk of the day so far. And so they're looking to see what they can do here against Spain. Carla Fu working against the three wall, breaks apart and inside line pass for Carla Fau and Team Mexico. Carla Fau calling off that jam. Team Mexico in the lead 19 to five over Spain with 26 and a half minutes remaining of this quick 30 minute game. You know, it's been so great to see the development of this tournament to include now so many Spanish speaking countries and uh, a great opportunity to see Mexico and Spain go at it. And, you know, throughout the day, we've seen large contingents of fans that are supporting Argentina, Mexico, Spain, and so many others here this weekend. It's been a lot of fun to see their spirit. And and uh, I have a feeling we're gonna it's going to get louder and louder as the weekend goes on. It's definitely been interesting to see people pick teams that they aren't affiliated with, but they pick them just for certain reasons because sure. they like them. Cubo now, your lead jammer for Team Spain. Taken on the outside line by number 18, that is Michael C for Team Mexico. Three wall on the front side by Spain, four now, trying to get themselves set to block. And a nice hip check block there by Ortega, slowing down the progress of Spain's jammer. Yeah, Silencio there kind of asking the rest, what, ha what happened to my points? I thought I made it. And he's like, no man, sorry, you were inside the line. <laughs> That's not how this works, unfortunately. But Team Mexico is still doing a great job in the lead by 10 points. However, Spain able to pick up four points on that last pass. Both teams doing well to get points on the board. Looking to do that will be Rockstar for Team Mexico taking on Shinigami for Team Spain. Rockstar straight up the middle lead jammer status for Team Mexico. 
Jack Scar with a fist pump and off he goes trying to make his pass got two so far looking for two more as he pushes against that front wall and it is a pass for five for, for Team Mexico. Shinigami there having a little trouble getting past the pivot line. He's forced on the outside by Team Mexico. That bridge work by Team Mexico doing an impressive job, like you said, Reject, on bringing back the Spanish jammer, allowing Rockstar to continue with another five-point pass. Yeah, Poblex, number five, out there putting some work in for Team Mexico. Looks like a penalty call, a track cut is going to be the call for Shinigami uh, for Team Spain. He will head to the penalty box. Right now, Mexico firmly in control. Rockstar with one skater to beat, and he is passed. Calls it off to set up a power start for the next jam. Team Mexico in control here, rejecting the early going of this 30-minute bout. Team Mexico, I feel like, um, is proven a point here so far today. Absolutely, definitely showing more confidence each bout this, that, that they have. This is their third bout today in group play, and so uh, definitely learning from what they have experienced, bringing in their prior experience, and now it's showing with a nice 30-point lead here in the early going. Right, and this is Spain's first game, so their legs are fresh, which, as we know in the roller derby world, can either be a curse or a blessing. True. <laughs> when you're skating against a team that's already warmed up but also had some time off, Anything can happen. Anything can happen indeed. Right now what's happening is Team Mexico is looking to make a pass, but they do pick up a multiplayer block penalty on Soitu Pedro. And so as a result, Shinigami will come on the track. That's right, interesting multiplayer call on a jammer. You don't see that happen very often. Not very often. Team Mexico with a four wall on the front side, braced. Here comes Spain trying to break it up. Shinigami trying to push, but Pablex working nicely there alongside his teammates. Nice defense work there from Team Mexico for sure. We got Soy Tupero standing in the box. He is about to re enter the track once again. Shinigami not making much headway out there on the track. Though his pivot is trying to assist him as best he can. That's number 44, Cubo. I believe he did manage to pass the star. Cubo tries to take the inside line, unable to make it past Publix. Meanwhile, Team Mexico continuing their hard work against, I'm sorry, make that Team Spain working hard against Mexico's jammer. But not to be denied is Soy Tu Pedro with another pass there to get his initial pass completed and now looking for points. Perez there as well headed to the penalty box for Team Spain putting them down one blocker. Followed closely behind is a Team Mexico skater that is number five Publix. Five points on that last pass reject for Mexico takes their total to 44. Again you're seeing a team that is now showing those signs of, of having bonded and brought their team together and really, really working effectively with those walls that we've been watching, uh, doing a good job neutralizing Spain. I wish I knew more, Piggy, about the stats of these teams, like how often do they practice together, how close are they to one another, because obviously we know not every skater from this team has to be from the country of the right. jersey that they're wearing. So I wonder if that comes into play here. Like maybe the Spanish team doesn't get to practice together as often as the Mexico team. I'm not sure, but it'd be interesting to know that information. Indeed, official timeout on the track has been called. I want to say thank you to some of our sponsors. S1, the S1 Lifer helmet is the best fitting and safest helmet for roller derby. Get a lifer, be a lifer. S1helmets.com. Also a big thank you to Nerd Skates. Nerd Roller Skates is your dedicated roller skate shop with everything you need for derby, ring, or park. Visit them at www.nerdskates.com, offering free shipping in Canada on orders over $150. Nerd Roller Skates for people who roll. Yeah, Buck, on the track, it looked like that official review was a bit of a conversation about where somebody needed to be. Um, nothing changed, so it doesn't look like there was any clarification needed. We have Pere Bayari on the line for Espana. He is facing off against Silencio for Team Mexico. And Team Mexico Silencio with lead jammer status. 
Blockers from Team Mexico in to help out and create space for their jammer for a four-point pass. You see a truck cut call. Oh, I believe that is on Team Spain's jammer. Possibly. Yes, it is. Okay, yes. I just wanted to make sure he was out of the box. He looked like he wanted to join Team Mexico there for a second, which is fine. He can do that. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's free world. You yeah. I want to sit with these guys. I like the color green. <laughs> it matches my eyes. I don't know. <laughs> Team Mexico still here in the lead as they put in Alex Storm, 49 to 11 over España. With 19 minutes remaining in the jam, lead jammer status to Team Mexico and Alex Storm. Inside line pass, so swiftly done by Alex Storm coming out of turn two, and now he's working against two blockers for Spain, and that's just not going to be enough re re reach. He, he's right through. That's right, another five-point grand slam for Alex Storm. Already jammed quite a bit today. He's proven to probably be one of the high point scorers for Team Mexico. Had an opportunity to watch Team Mexico earlier this year, uh, down from about to where I'm from, and this team has really gelled since then. Uh, this was April, and you know, you talked earlier about how much time teams have to work together, and you're right, there is that element of not having a lot of time to practice together, and Team Mexico is one of the teams affected by that. I was talking to a few of their folks, and the difference maker, I think, for them is that they're able to get a lot done in those few moments that they do have together. All right, we're going to take a moment here and talk a little bit about some more of our sponsors. We have Brown Paper Tickets has been supporting roller derby for over a decade. We love this sport and are working to help gear up the Women's League in Lebanon. You can make a difference but for, for Roller Derby Beirut by visiting our donation page at Got Game Need Gear at brownpapertickets.com. That's Got Game Need Gear at brownpapertickets.com. It's so cool to think about how far roller derby reaches all the way to Lebanon, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's the, the beauty of our sport is it's global in nature, and it has been for a while now. But I think what we're starting to see is there's starting to become parity around the world in terms of the success that certain teams are seeing. Earlier today on this track, we watched England with a very dominating performance and looking to carry that into the breakout rounds as we continue this weekend. And so it'll be impressive to see how they do. Um, but again, like you said, when we have a team now that's, that's coming together in, in, of all places, Beirut, Lebanon, I mean, what a, what a wonderful thing that is. And, um, you know, one of, the, one of the things that I love to, to see is where teams pop up, because you like, sometimes you ask the question, really there? Right. And then the question right after that is, of course, why not? Sure. And of course. So, absolutely. It's very cool, too. Earlier, some somebody had said something, and a guy said, I, only, I, I speak French and a little English. And we were <laughs> like, as long as you know the words of roller derby, that's all you need to know. <laughs> that's right. Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe even just the hand signals. Indeed. All right. So some stats for us here. Team Mexico, three times they have started in a power jam, and also five jammers in their rotation. So... Ooh, Spain has four. So very interesting. Again, Mexico working with quite a bigger roster. Yes, that is that is going to be, or uh, that has played a role at this point. But credit to Spain. You know, they're here, they're playing, and uh, quite a few teams um, are making their first appearances here at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Chile being one of them. Uh, Puerto Rico in the mix. Mexico, as a matter of fact, in this bout, making their first appearance at this, the second Ro Men's Roller Derby World Cup. So the world has come to Calgary Devils Reject, and it is a sight to see. I, we, I, we have. We're here. Yes. I think about <laughs> this morning's uh, opening ceremonies, and I don't know about you, but I got chills just watching the reactions to these teams as they took their lap. Maybe I'm just sensitive, but I'm just like, I don't know. To me, it's like the Olympics. It's our version of the Olympics. Sure. So... I love it. I agree. I think we're going to get back to it. We saw Alex Storm being exited off the track. It looks like he's probably okay, but the EMTs are maybe checking out something that's going on with his lower extremity. Hopefully he will be fine once he gets checked out. Coming back into this jam, we've got Cubo skating for Spain up against Rockscar skating for Team Mexico in those Jammer Star covers. And a truck cut to Team Spain, but it doesn't look like he quite realizes it yet. Okay, now he's got it figured out. And he is off to the penalty box. And off to the races is Rockscar, who picked up lead jammer now on a Roller Derby Athletics power jam. 
and right into a wall of red jerseys. But here come the green jerseys to break up that attempt at a wall by Spain. But nice recovery there by the Spanish blockers to continue to slow down Rockstar. In the meantime, defensively, Mexico working hard against Spain's jammer and a penalty, a back block is assessed. I'm sorry, that's a blocker for uh, Team Spain that was sent to the penalty box for a, a back block. That's right, that is Sinera Harcour headed to the box for Spain. Another five point pass there for Rockstar for Team Mexico. Spain though limiting the damage that could have been done on that power jam with some good work defensively. Yeah, we saw Shinigami out there putting up some good work um, doing a little jamming, doing a lot of blocking, holding down the front of the pack for Team Spain. And holding down our list of sponsors, we've got Power of Grayskull, the Power of Grayskull, bespoke handmade sportswear, proud sponsors of Team Wales Roller Derby. Every item is designed and made in our studio in the UK. Want your pets on legs? We can totally do that. The Power of Grayskull, making your legs happy. 68 to 11, Mexico in this third game of theirs in group play here at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. The pack picking up the pace quite a bit there as Senor Calavera tries to make it through for Team Spain. He's up against Soy Tupero. And a multiplayer call. Soy Tupero with one skater to beat and he is going to pick up a multiplayer jam. I'm um, sorry, multiplayer block penalty that will send him to the penalty box. You're right, I saw the call, I just wasn't seeing who they were assessing it to. Second multiplayer call on a jammer in this game, very interesting. But that opens the door for Team Spain, El Equipo de España. Sonera Hardcore again to the penalty box for Team Spain. Team Spain down to three blockers now on the track. And Publix with a perfectly placed hip and shoulder check combination that sent back uh, Spain's jammer, Senor Calavera. Action continues on the straightaway with some hard hits from both sides. As that power jam is now over. Oh, and we have a star pass there to the Spaniard. Thank you, Sven. Number 30, I believe, maybe the second time I've seen him jam out here so far today. I believe he jammed early on in the game. Maybe not. Rockstar, though, for sure, picking up another five for Team Mexico. That's 73. And a forearm penalty now on Mexico's Soy Tupero as he heads to the penalty box for a, well, we'll set up a power start for Spain. So Tupero able to pick up two points, however, a seven point jam against Spain's four point jam. Spain's still not giving up too easily. No, they're still They up are there. in it to win it. Putting up a fight as they put Pere Bayari on the jam line. Power start here for Spain. Forced out by a nice block there by Team Mexico. Now they bridge back to try to make his distance to recover a lot longer, collapsing into a nice four wall. 30 seconds in, and Bayari still unable to cross the pivot line. Team, uh, Team Mexico able to hold back that jammer until their jammer could come out of the penalty box. So we prepared to back on the track now, Team Mexico. Acha and Shinigami were there waiting for Team Mexico's jammer. The lead jammer now for Mexico. So he better picking up lead jammer for his team. So he better again through the pack for a five point grand slam. 
Bridge back now by Mexico. Trying to keep the Spanish blocker separated. Two wall on the front side. Now one player to beat. That's Shinigami facing off against Soy Tupero. And a little bit of a hip swing on the outside. And there's the pass for five more. Jam continuing. Soy Tupero now surrounded by three red jerseys. Trying that little hip move again and able to push back to the middle and get that pass in. Jam total at 15 for Mexico at this point, looking for more. It's so too better as that jam comes to a close. So Devils reject Spain just, you know, struggling to keep up here. I think the issues of penalties have come into play. Also, roster differential in terms of numbers. Mexico able to rotate more. And so here we sit, Mexico looking to pick up their win in this third bout of theirs here on day one. You are correct, Piggy. And after a quick word from our sponsors, I feel like we should probably talk more about that. get more kicks playing golf than I do hitting a and this one is part of my uniform. A clear path through the pack almost never exists. So we fight and make our own. Sorry, what were we talking about? I forgot. All right, and we are back. Thanks so much to our sponsors, Sisu. S1 helmets and so many more. Devils reject. It has been a fun bout here. Uh, 92 to 15, Mexico in the lead. And uh, again, before the break, we were talking about you know some of the differentials here that have caused Mexico to go up uh, with this lead. Uh, roster size being one, penalties coming into play for Spain. And so, your thoughts overall on what we've seen so far? I definitely think you're you're correct in saying that. I think I wonder again how much of the practice time comes in, how much play time. We've got some more experienced skaters probably on Team Mexico that have played for the U.S. for a while and bring their knowledge back to these teams that they're playing with now. So far, it looks like Team Mexico has 60, has gotten lead 63.6% .6 of the time, as opposed to Team Spain's 18% of the time, which as we know, having lead jammer status gives you a lot of ability out there to make things happen on the track as far as points go. It's, it maintains control, and so right now we're seeing that from Mexico, and a penalty now, a track cut being called on Spain's jammer. That is Hubel who will report to the penalty box. Silencio heading back on the track as he was serving time as well. Completing his initial pass is Silencio. Spain now looking to set up a four wall on the front side of the pack. Again though, we see those, those Mexico blockers coming in to break up that wall and open up space. And a forearm call sends Sonera Hardcore to the penalty box, 14 Spain, just as his teammate Cubo heads back out of the penalty box, followed by Navarrijo, 14 Mexico. Bit of an apex jump of attempt there by Silencio, didn't quite land it, had to recycle backwards, but now he's getting some help from Navarrijo to clear that pass and put, pick up four points. Nache working there alongside the Spaniard. But Silencio makes the pass and puts up another five points. And a forearm call now on Cubo. Sends him to the penalty box, but he was able to pick up five points before heading to the box. That will make this a power start for Team Mexico and Rockstar. Approaching five minutes to go in this 30 minute bout that has been full of action and, and full of hard hits and just everything we've come to expect from these types of bouts here on this first day and uh, 
We've got an official timeout on the track, which I'm going to take a moment to kind of point something out. I don't know if you've noticed, Double Tree but there are some impressive beards <laughs> this weekend. You're in Canada. I think it's a requirement. <laughs> isn't it, it might be. But uh, I look across these teams, and I know that's neither here nor there when it comes to gameplay, but I'm just impressed, not the least of which is our buddy Sven, who has grown, quite, uh, grown himself one as well. Yeah, I think Team Spain is growing theirs out in solidarity. They all have the same mustache. <laughs> yes. More importantly, though, we want to say thank you to some of our sponsors who have been so helpful in making this event happen and also groups that have done their part to support this World Cup, this Men's Roller Derby World Cup, and that includes Roller Sports Canada. The 2016 Men's Roller Derby World Cup is sanctioned and insured by Roller Sports Canada, providing insurance and support for all Canadian roller sports. Visit them at www.rollersports.ca or on Facebook at RSC Roller Derby. Also want to say thank you to Roller Derby Elite. Roller Derby Elite, the brand that defines the sport. And our platinum sponsor of Team USA, Roller Derby Elite Level Up. So as we get set to go back to the track, Devils Reject, we've got Rockstar on the line from Mexico. We do, Rockstar is out there on a power star with his Team Mexico friends, Mr. Herrera and Michael C in the pack. Also known as hashtag Angel G.I. Joel. Yes. Spain losing a player, Sanera Hardcore, for an egregious elbow call. That was what that last official timeout was about. And right now we've got a lead jammer call for Team Mexico Rockstar yet again. Looking to add to their lead as points do come do become an issue here as we get into the later portions of group play for seeding in the breakout rounds later this weekend. Hard hitting action right there on screen as Mexico's jammer trying to break through past that wall of Mexico blockers. being signaled there for Rockstar up to Mexico and a forearm penalty is being signaled against Cubo for Spain. So penalties continue to be the story that was reject here in this bout. That's right. We see Herrera signaling to his teammate. It's a power jam, buddy. Let's rack up those points. Get them while you can. Get them while they're hot. And Rockstar does. He makes his way around the track. Almost able to make it through. Balls off the jam, and they'll have a power start to get going here. As we're now under two minutes in this 30-minute game that has been fun to watch. 128 for Mexico so far, 20 for Spain. Nothing at all to be ashamed of as these teams that are represented here this weekend are doing so with a lot of pride in their countries. And it's great to see their enthusiasm before and even after bouts despite the score. Right, absolutely. We've got Carl Lafau on the jam line on that power start for Team Mexico. He takes the outside line, but is forced out. Team Spain kicking it into high gear, forcing him out of bounds. He hops back on the track, makes his way through for lead jammer status for Team Mexico. Mexico does lose a blocker, though. Hops giving a jump and a pass for five for Team Mexico. Spain trying to set up a wall up front. It gets broken up as the jam comes to a close after five more points by Mexico. So as we begin to wind down this particular bout, stay tuned to see more derby action on this track. Next, we will see Wales take on our host country, Canada. Canada with a, a dominant performance in the opener this morning and looking to do that again. 
And I can just not say enough about how hospitable these Canadians have been since we've been here. You know, people always say that and make jokes about how nice people are in Canada, but it has really been a splendid trip. The hosts have been great. Team Spain there they off the jam done. line. Yeah. Bayari is your lead jammer for Team Spain. Spain not done yet. Bayari looking for a pass on the outside and he makes it. Picking up five big points for Team Spain. Very yep. nicely done for Team Spain. Neither of these teams are playing again today, Piggy, so what do they got to lose, you know? Punch yeah. it in high gear and let's do this thing. Absolutely, leave it all on the track, as they say. And calling off the jam is Spain. And that brings us to the close of this bout. Good to watch Spain with a lot of spirit, a lot of heart. Mexico continuing to improve bout after bout, picking up a win here in this third bout or their third bout yep. here on day one. And as you can see, Piggy, a lot of camaraderie out there on the track between these two teams. No love lost, absolutely. I think any any team that gets to play and learn from one another, it's, it's always a wonderful experience. I totally agree. Well, that brings us to the conclusion of this bout, Mexico and Spain here at the 2016 Men's Roller Derby World Cup. On behalf of Devil's Reject, I am Piggy Fatness. Stay tuned for more derby action here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. We'll be right back. Adios.
We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. A hangout for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left. Hey, this is Dan from S1 Helmets. We're in the testing lab today, testing helmets to see if they pass the multiple impact certification test. We're going to be testing three helmets today. A soft foam helmet with EVA foam and a terry cloth liner. The hockey helmet with triple density EVA foam. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam. All three of these helmets are marketed as multiple impact helmets. We're gonna test all of them today and see which ones actually pass the test. The